Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivy Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint. And today we're going to be talking about planting zones. Um, this here is actually um, a chart that I've um, picked up here um, in a book by the American Horticultural Society um, Encyclopedia of Gardening Techniques. And right in here, I basically have a hardiness zone map. Um, if you buy any plants, if you um, plant any seeds, you might notice on the back of it, it'll talk about um, your hardiness zone and when you're allowed to plant your plants in, into your garden. Um, or if you're starting your seeds indoors, when you can actually take them outdoors. What the hardiness zone map does is it basically explains what your average low temperatures are for your area of where you live throughout the country. This here is a map of um, America as well as Mexico to the bottom and Canada to the top. And um, if you zoom in here, I want to explain to you the, um, the different zones and what the um, temperatures are. Um, over here for zone 11, which is the warmest, you'll notice that most of southern Mexico is actually zone 11, which means their average nighttime low temperature is always above 40 degrees. When you go to zone 10, it says that your nighttime low temperatures at your coldest time of the year is between 30 and 40 degrees. Um, being that we're here in Los Angeles, California, um, we actually have a planting season that keeps us between 30 and 40 degrees um, for only the last two weeks, I believe, of December and about the first two weeks of January. Outside of that, which is pretty much the other 11 months out of the year, you can pretty much grow um, a lot of plants um, into your garden um, without having to grow them indoors. So we're actually here in Los Angeles zone 10, which means nighttime low temperatures never typically go below 30 degrees. Um, or zone nine, I just wanna share this chart depending on where you live. Zone nine means your nighttime lows um, at any point in the year might be between 20 and 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Zone eight means you're between 10 and 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Zone seven is between zero and 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Zone six is between minus 10 to zero degrees Fahrenheit. Zone five is between negative 20 to negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Zone four is between minus 30 to minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Zone three is between minus 40 to minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Zone two is between minus 50 to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And zone one is below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So the benefit of Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint is um, if you're actually in a cold zone, is it, per, uh, it protects your trees from what's called sun scald. And sun scald happens when your nighttime low temperatures go into freezing which is a large part of the United States of America. Um, but when your nighttime low temperatures go into freezing and then followed by daytime temperatures that are actually warm enough to get the sap flowing through the trees, the sap will actually go through the tree and actually, um, as the trees warm, and then at night when the um, temperatures go back down into freezing, the bark will actually crack as represented, let's say, by these black lines. Um, and when the bark cracks, now you've actually got an opening that's now susceptible for wood boring insects to get into it, um, rodents to actually maybe start um, eating um, added sap, um, a whole variety of disease that can actually now penetrate and get into um, the tree. So what Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint does is first it prevents that issue from happening in the first place by reflecting the light um, that causes the sun scald. And two, it actually seals any of the cracks that would allow the wood boring insects to get into it, as well as the rodents from maybe initially taking those bites into the tree. Um, what Ivy Organics 3 in 1 Tree Guard Paint does is it also reflects the sun um, during the hottest summer times to also prevent sunburn, which does exactly the same thing to the tree. It causes the cracking predominantly um, in citrus trees, avocado trees, and a lot of other thin bark trees um, or darker um, bark trees. Those are more prone to actually getting um, sunburned. Um, if you have any other questions, please visit us at ivoryorganics.com. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Happy gardening.